Luke, could I invite the Collins family up and let's give them a round of applause. And um, Tom, if you want to take ownership of that for the moment, that'd be wonderful. So, um, um, I think Helen's just run off. She can't face this bit. It's just too Sorry. much. Too much. Um, some of you will know, in fact, a lot of us know, that um, Tom and Helen and family have been here for quite a while. Three and a half years, is it? Yep, three, three and, and a half, half years. years. And today is the day that is their final Sunday. I know, it is truly gutting. Um, but whilst we're waiting for Helen, Tom, why don't you just tell us a little bit, where are you actually going? Yeah, well, Helen's here, so you, Helen can tell us this bit. Okay. Round of applause for Helen. <laughs> Helen, tell us, where are you guys going? Just now, I was going to the loo, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're moving to North Devon, to a place called Lee Abbey, which is um, a Christian community um, which is open as a uh, retreat centre or holiday centre or a conference centre. Um, and their whole aim is that people will encounter God through being in that place, which is in a really, really beautiful place and being welcomed by the community that live there. And we're going to be part of the community that live there. So you're going to be out in the sticks? Yes. And the first question before we ask any more is, can we come and visit? Yes. Fantastic. That's really good. That's Actually, great. Actually, yes. Um, Tom, what have been some of the highlights of your time here? Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, you guys, I suppose, is it. Um, and I was just looking at my uh, little journal that I keep uh, right back when I would first started at Ascension, and I'd written that um, Ascension seems to uh, be free from the heaviness that so many other churches are burdened by. And um, I think that's, that's a highlight for me, seeing a church uh, that is free to run, um, that's influenced by people now. It's also influenced by the history um, of other people who have been part of Ascension, um, in all the mess that that is. Uh, I also looked back and saw that in 2018, Marcus handed me a book and said, I'm going to be reading this. You read it too, and we'll talk about it. It was called Scattered Servants by Alan Scott. I think some of you may have read it as well. And in that, he described that the church... Sorry, I'm, I'm becoming a preacher here. Uh, the church uh, is not meant to be a group of managed volunteers. The church is meant to be a community of trusted rulers. And so we're not doing church to just uh, protect it and make sure that the kingdom survives on our watch. That we are stewards, nurturing, enabling growth and flourishing so that at the end of our shift, the church is bigger and more beautiful than it was at the beginning. And so I think my highlight and my encouragement to all of you is that that is happening here in surprising ways. God's spirit has given freedom to run, uh, and it's been great to be part of that for a tiny bit of Ascension's history. And my prayer and my hope for you all is that you are going to step up to running with it uh, in the years ahead, to what is this kingdom flourishing going to look like on your shift so thank you well we aren't going to pray for you but could you pray that for us now because yeah. i think that's really important yeah let's pray let's, let's put our hands out as a way of receiving this prayer from tom this morning lord jesus we acknowledge that your spirit is with us lord i ask that as you have already been working miracles in this place for the flourishing of your kingdom that you would empower each person who is part of Ascension to step into their calling with all the gifts you have given so that they can enable your church to flourish, your kingdom to come on earth as in heaven. And we pray that this would be by the power of your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray you out in the power of the Spirit, but why don't you give us maybe two or three specific prayer points that we can be praying for. You got some? Um, I feel like the main one is the transition. Um, so moving from here to somewhere that's very different geographically and obviously during the pandemic. Yeah, the boys have been homeschooled for the last year and they're going back to school, which they're quite excited about, thankfully. Um, and um, we're moving from 
like most of us have been during the pandemic, spent a lot of time in our own company to living in a community. So there's quite a big transition ahead of us. So prayer for the roller coaster that that will be and settling into the new situation um, would be great. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I guess the same equipping. So um, that God would equip us to play our part in this, in this next season in the, in the kingdom flourishing. Right, well, why don't we stand as a way of saying, yes, we really want to pray for the Collinses, and let's stretch our hands, which is a symbolic way of saying we want to bless them and send them out in the power of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the Collins family. We thank you for all that they have been to us and all that they will be to the Lee Abbey community. We pray that you would indeed equip them for all that you have for them. We pray right now that you give them what they need to play their part in that community in that part of North Devon and Lord I pray that many people will be blessed through the ministry of Lee Abbey that you would encourage many many people and Lord I pray now that you would also encourage the family really practically I pray that we pray Lord that the transition down to the countryside from the city would go really well, that they'd love the house, the home, the community, the, uh, being able to see the sea um, and nature, and that it'd just be a fantastic shift, a new chapter. And Lord, we do pray for the boys, Lord, as they start school again, that they'd love it, that they'd make brilliant friends, and that um, they would be filled, all of them, by your Holy Spirit. We pray now. In the name of Jesus, we say, go filled with the spirit of the living Lord. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause and uh, thank you. And uh, just want to also say thank you very much, Marcus, for your leadership and for your friendship. Thank you. So... Um,